We have planned a giveaway for our viewers, of all in one YouTube channel, to enter the giveaway it's simple, just hit the subscribe button. Then follow our Instagram page. Now that you done that. Just register your entry from the link in the description. That's it, all set. I will pick a random person, and do giveaway of cash prize as per their wish. It can be. Money or Amazon gift card. It's their wish. This giveaway is legit and one winner will get the prize 100% sure. Thank you. In 2020, we didn't get a Google I.O. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Google cancelled it outright. There were originally rumors that it could do an all-virtual event, but that didn't come to pass. Now, in 2021, Google is delivering the all-virtual I.O. we were hoping for last year. The Shoreline Amphitheater in Mountain View, CA, might not be filled to the brim with attendees as in years past, but the show will go on. In this video, we will give you the essential info you need related to Google I.O. 2021. We're also going to tell you about all of the things Google launched at its keynote, which turned out not to include new Google branded hardware. What Google announced at this year's event. Before we get into what Google unveiled at I.O. 2021, you should keep one thing in mind, I.O. is primarily geared towards developers. Although there are plenty of consumer-focused events most specifically the keynote that starts everything off a majority of the smaller events will be very technical in nature. Therefore, unless you are a developer, a bulk of the events won't really mean much for you. That all being said, Google always has some fun stuff for the general population at I.O. Here's what we got so far. Android 12 reveal and the first public beta. Here it is, right off the bat, the announcement most people were waiting for the full reveal of Android 12. We finally have a much better idea of what the future of Android holds, especially the new material you design language. It offers far more color and customization options, and your phone can even update its color scheme to match your chosen wallpaper. We've already seen a few developer previews of Android 12, but we finally have the first public beta available as of I.O. 2021. The difference between a developer preview and a beta is that the latter is something the general public can safely install on their personal devices, for the most part. There will certainly still be bugs but not nearly as many as you would find on a developer preview. We'll be sure to test it thoroughly and provide you with bugs and fun new features that we find. Smart Canvas for a more connected workspace. We've all had plenty of practice working remotely over the past year, and now Google has decided to give us another boost. Its new Smart Canvas platform makes it easier to work between different Google apps, like Docs and Sheets with greater flexibility. If you need to, you can bring a Google Meets call right into your team doc and just keep working. While this all sounds pretty great, especially if you have a presentation coming up, Google won't make Smart Canvas widely available quite yet. We can expect integrations coming this fall, but who knows how quickly they will arrive. Where OS and Tizen are becoming one. If we had to sum up the Google I.O. keynote without mentioning Android 12, we'd have to say that it's the presentation Wear OS users have been waiting for. Google's Wear OS platform and Samsung's Tizen are merging to form one super platform, aptly named Wear. It should lead to solid boosts in battery life, smoother application start UPS, and up to 30% faster upload times. Samsung, and other OEMs, will continue to launch their own wearables, but the days of pure Tizen products are done. We've also heard other updates like a standalone version of Google Maps, offline Spotify downloads, and some of Fitbit's best features are on their way to join in the fun. New updates to Google's camera software. We all know and love Google's powerful camera software, and now the rich are getting richer. For starters, developers are working on making their cameras more accurate for people of color. Historically, cameras have struggled with their auto white balance features and losing darker skin tones in shadowed areas. The goal with these improvements is to make a more inclusive camera experience for everyone. Google is also giving its selfie algorithm a boost thanks to Better mapping for curly and wavy hair types. This should allow users to see more accurate results as opposed to a vague outline around their hair. Starlene brings faraway family members to you.
We all know just how hard it's been to spend time apart from loved ones over the past year. Google's new Starlene platform takes a new step in the video conferencing game, creating a 3D model of your family member while you talk to them. It can't replace a true in-person conversation, but it certainly goes a long way in bridging the gap. Right now, the Starlene system is rather large. It looks more like a photo booth that you have to sit in while talking to friends or family. It's also currently only available in a few select Google offices, so hopefully, it will spread far and wide as that. Technology matures. Google Pixel Buds X. Google launched the second gen version of its Pixel Buds in 2020, which acted as its first entry into the incredibly competitive true wireless earbuds space. Then, rumors suggested that Google could launch a cheaper variant of the Buds that could land as the Google Pixel. If you have any questions on your mind just leave it on the comments section, I'll cover it on the next video. Thank you for watching.